Here are four reasons that I believe investors should always stay at nice hotels. And now it doesn't have to be the most expensive hotel you can find, but I always recommend staying in nice hotels because it gives you four huge, huge, huge benefits. And the first thing for me at least is learning. I know that might sound kind of strange, but yes, when I stay at a hotel, I am learning and I'm learning how they do things. If I'm staying at a nice hotel, they probably have a very upscale experience. It's like a five star experience, you know, six, seven star, whatever. And I'm learning how they're operating their business. When I'm there as a client, they're treating me in a very specific way. And I'm not just, you know, going through the motions. I'm paying attention to every little detail of what happens. When I arrive, maybe they give me a hot towel to wash my hands, right? That's customer service right there. And so I'm paying attention to stuff like this, just the little things. Maybe they give me a water bottle. Maybe they they give me some snacks, maybe they give me a candy, whatever it is. I'm paying attention to those little things and I'm watching what sort of impact it has on my mood and on my overall attitude towards this place. So maybe I arrive to the place, I'm like, okay, this is cool, you know, whatever hotel. But then all of a sudden they give me a cookie and they're like, hey, this is a chocolate chip cookie. We just baked it in our kitchen. We wanted to give it to you. Also, here's a water, here's a lemonade, whatever. All of a sudden I'm like, you know what? Like, this was actually perfect timing because I was hungry. I was just got off a long flight. I haven't even stepped into the hotel room, but I'm already thinking, wow, this place is nice. I like this place. I already have a positive attitude towards it. And so learning is very, very key when you're traveling to these places. Don't miss the opportunity to learn. Now, the second thing that I love about nice hotels is visualization. So even if you aren't wealthy or where you wanna be in your investment career, visualization is very, very important. You have to know where you're going. If you don't have a goal in mind, you're never gonna get there. You have to know exactly where you're going or otherwise you're just gonna be wandering around back and forth, you're not really sure where you're going. Am I going this way? Am I going that way? You have to think about all these things. So if you're able to stay at a nice hotel at least once in a while, it's definitely a worthwhile experience because it allows you to visualize the things that you want out of your life. Even if right now you can't necessarily afford to stay at a Ritz Carlton, let's say, you stay at a Ritz Carlton, you're like, wow, this is what it's like to stay at Ritz Carlton. So now you have that mental image. Now you have that visualization working for you and it's actually helping you get there faster. And I know because I've used visualization in so many different areas in my life. And every time I visualize something, the stronger that I can visualize that thing, my life just tends to align in that direction because that's my primary thought. That's the strongest thought that I have in my mind. And so if I'm thinking about, oh, I want to live that Ritz Carlton lifestyle, the things that are happening to me in my life are going to align to that. And you need to understand that because visualization is very, very powerful when it comes to business, when it comes to investments and all these things, you have to visualize the things that you want and then your life is going to align in that direction and you're going to start seeing opportunities that get you closer. The other side of visualization is knowing what doesn't get you closer. So if I know I want to live a Ritz Carlton lifestyle and those are the types of hotels I want to stay at and these are the types of cars I want to drive, I can also much more easily find things that don't align with that. Right. So if I see something that it's just totally off the track, not even close, not getting me any closer to where I want to be, I can much more easily say no to that because my visualization is so strong. No, I know I'm headed in that direction. I'm not going to step that way. Why would I take two steps that way when I need to be running that way? Right. It just doesn't make any sense. So now it gets a lot easier to do your decision making. You have to start making decisions based on your goals and where you want to be, not where you're at today. The third aspect of all of this is networking. So the third reason that I love staying at nice hotels is the networking opportunities. And there's always really cool people at these places. Trust me, they're either traveling for work, maybe just on vacation, but these places are full of influential people, of other business people, of people who are out there to make a difference. And so the reason that they're staying there is because they've probably already made it. Now, there may be some people there who are still just visualizing and that's totally fine. Nice hotels like Ritz Carlton, the people that are staying there, they are going to be the ones that you want to be networking with. So I definitely encourage you if you're staying at one of those hotels, go down to the lobby, go down to the lounge, go down to the area where people are gathering and just start meeting people. You never know who you're going to meet. You could literally be one handshake away from becoming a millionaire or maybe an eight figure earner or maybe even a hundred million dollar earner, right? You never know. There could be a person in that room or at that hotel who's looking for exactly the skill set that you possess 
and they're just waiting to meet you. So if you meet them at the right place at the right time, which is where you're positioning yourself, you're going to be able to take advantage of that opportunity and you're going to be able to make a difference. And you can use that relationship in order to take your life to the next level. And you're not only going to be benefiting that person, but they're potentially going to be benefiting you as well. So for me, networking is huge. I love the aspect of networking when it comes to nice places like that, nice resorts, hotels. It's a great place to meet a lot of cool people. So even if you're not doing business together, you could just end up meeting a friend who's going to be your best friend for the rest of your life so i definitely encourage you to network when you're at those places at the restaurant at the bar at the lounge whatever it is find where the people are gathering and put yourself there put yourself out there and start meeting people and don't forget to bring the business cards now the fourth reason i love staying at nice hotels is because of the aspect of creativity so as an investor i find one of the most valuable things that i can do with my time is spend it being creative because when i'm creative i start thinking of creative solutions I start thinking of new inventions, of new ways of doing things that I didn't think of before. And I find that this often happens when I'm staying at nice hotels. I don't know what about it, but maybe it's the art, maybe it's the overall atmosphere of the hotel. It's just so new and so different than what I'm used to that it causes me to think creatively. And I think that's super powerful. If you're going to places like this, just make sure that you'd spend some time just thinking, spend some time being creative. Just take a big piece of paper, take a pen and start brainstorming. Just write down everything that comes to your mind. It doesn't have to be anything in specific, but just start writing everything down that comes to your mind, new ideas. Think of your top 20 best ideas to implement today and just write them down. And I'm telling you, they're probably going to be very different than the ideas that you would come up with sitting at home in your office where you're working every single day because you end up getting into a routine and that routine that can get comfortable and that becomes dangerous. If you start getting comfortable, you start getting into too much of a routine that stays exactly the same, that becomes dangerous for your creativity. So it's always important to stay creative because that's how you find new solutions. That's how you solve problems. That's how you find ways to do things that nobody's ever thought of before. And so for me, a huge hack for that is going to nice hotels and nice places because the atmosphere, the beauty of the hotel, it just brings that out. And so for me, that's been super valuable. Those are the four reasons that I would stay at nice hotels and I highly recommend all of my students everybody in my community stays at nice hotels at least once in a while just to experience that and learn and be creative and network and all those things it's so 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 important so guys make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video